no Cinco de Mayo celebration would be complete without something called mole poblano. Mole itself is a bit of an enigma. We know we love it, but we don't know too much else about it. So get ready to embark on a journey of epic proportions, all in the name of unlocking the mystery of mole. And yes. you've got a restaurant called Sarela. Thank you so much for inviting me to your house. That's very kind of you. Mi casa es tu casa. I invite very few people here to the house, but when I do, it's always to teach. It's Cinco de Mayo, yeah, which is not. Mexican independence period. Cinco de Mayo is the independence from the French, 1862. Yeah, and it occurred in Puebla. In Puebla, the Battle of Puebla. What are the traditional foods? Mole poblano, which is sort of the jewel mm. of Puebla food. Mm -hmm. It's a pureed sauce okay. with a thickener mm -hmm. with fresh or dried green chilies. It's you know one of the characteristic dishes of Mexican cuisine. <laughs> Make a nice powder and everybody cover their noses. I don't I don't feel it. I don't. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, now I got it. Remember that the Spanish came to Mexico because they were looking for the spice root. See how easy it is? Oh yeah, it smells good. Now let's get some chicken stock. Now we're gonna blend. Now this is these are the chilies that we ground up early. Yeah. Smell yeah. them one last time. Yeah. Because now they're gonna change totally. <laughs> okay. Anybody who cares enough about learning how to make mole poblano yeah. is doing enough in life. Mole is used to celebrate anything. Mm -hmm. Baptisms, uh, weddings, anything. Mm -hmm. It's our primary celebratory food. Let's taste. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I see what you're talking about. Very complex because got. It's it, it just. There's a hundred different flavors going on. I know. No mm -hmm. wonder it's a glory of Mexican food. Huh? That's holiday foods, Cinco de Mayo, mole poblano. <laughs>